Hello YouTube. The following is my top 10 favorite video game list. Now, like I said on my first two top 10 lists, uh, these are my uh, top 10 favorite video games. So if your favorite one isn't on here, then I don't care. Don't watch the video and go away. So here we go. Number 10. Naughty Dogs Jack 3. Now, I grew up with Crash Bandicoot a lot, it being made by Naughty Dog, and when I ended up getting my PS3, sorry, PS2 a while back, um, I was excited to play Naughty Dog's Jack series. And out of all of the Jack series, Jack 3 was probably my favorite one. The story was well done, the graphics were amazing for the PS2, the cutscenes, just the way the game looked, it was pretty damn good and done pretty damn well. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, there were some special things I liked about the game, mostly the uh, the vehicles you could ride out in the desert. Um, there were some new weapons they added in the game. If you're ever looking for an adventure game with, an, with a mix of all sorts of stuff, I recommend Jack 3. It's a very good game. Number 9. CTR, also known as Crash Team Racing. Now, I grew up with the PS1, getting it back in 98, I think. My favorite game was Crash Team Racing. The game was so much fun. The tracks were fun to race. I played the battle, uh, the battle scenes with my siblings all the time. It was a, just an all-around great game. If you can manage to find this game somewhere, I recommend picking it up. You don't even need to be a fan of uh, Crash games or racing games to like this game. It's that good. It was. It's probably one of Naughty Dog's best games. So yeah, my number nine, Crash Team Racing. Number eight, Star Wars Empire at War. Now, when Empire at War first came out, I was pretty excited about it. I had watched a friend play it. It was pretty damn good. I loved it. Uh, when I got my good computer, I ended up buying the game in the gold pack with both uh, the original copy and Forces of Corruption. I've had loads and loads of fun with that game. The, it, it, mixing Star Wars and a real-time strategy was out of genius. Now, I've heard there have been other Star Wars RTS games out there, but I think Empire War probably being the best one. That's probably why I like, liked it. It mixed two of my favorite things together, Star Wars and RTS. Great, great game. If you're a fan of both Star Wars and RTS games, I recommend this game completely. Number seven, Dragon Quest Eight. It's an awesome game. I've had many, many hours to play on it. I've probably had about fi I've played the game for about 50 hours, and I'm not even halfway through. It's an awesome game. Um, music is good. The art is good. The story is good. If you ever, if you're looking for a good, good RPG, I recommend Dragon Quest VIII. It's utterly awesome. Um, you'll have hours and hours of fun with this game. It is a little difficult, and collecting money is very tedious, like tedious hour-wise. Like, it took me about four hours to make uh, about three grand in the game. At least I think so. But long story short, the only tedious thing about the game is collecting money. Other than that, it's a great game. The fighting system's good. I, I love how the guy who did the original Dragon Ball Z uh, art did, his, uh, did Dragon Quest VIII. It looked very beautiful. Number six. Kill Zone. Now, this game is a diamond in the rough. Kill Zone being probably the greatest first-person shooter for the PlayStation 2. It's done so well. The graphics are amazing. The st I love the story. The story is pretty epic. Killzone 2 set the bar for first-person shooters on the PS2. At least I think so. I mean, if you're looking for a first-person shooter that's just utterly awesome, go with Killzone, because it's fucking fun. You'll love it. Number 5. Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. Now, I put 1 and 2 on this list because they're pretty much the same. There are some differences, but they're pretty much the same. When I heard they're mixing Star Wars with the Battlefield games, I couldn't get enough of it. I had to get this game. It's true. And when I first rented the first Battlefront, oh, I had f so much, so much fun with it. Um, just, the, the it, it's Star Wars. What do you expect, you know? Uh, music... Um, there's not, there's no story to it, you know, like animal battlefield games. There's not a story to it. Um, I guess, yeah, there's no story to it, but you don't, won't really have to worry about that. Uh, the gameplay, it's got, its replay value is utterly awesome. 
utterly awesome. The same thing goes with the second one. Um, the replay value is awesome. Um, yeah. That's my number five, Star Wars Battlefront. I recommend it. Number four, Time Splitters Future Perfect. If you have not played Time Splitters Future Perfect by now, then you are missing out. Just like I said about Killzone, this is an awesome first person shooter. Um, besides the story, the multiplayer is awesome. There's char you can play as characters that make no sense to the story at all. The weapons are cool. Uh, there's levels that have got nothing to do with the game. And um, the game itself is hilarious. There's, st there's so much comedy in it. And uh, references from old movies and new movies and all that shit. The game itself is pretty hard to come by these days. But if you can manage to find it, get it. It's it's replay value is pretty awesome. There's even a um, a map editor where you can make your own maps. It's pretty cool. So like I said, I recommend that one. Number three, Front Mission Four. This game is pretty self-explanatory. It's a turn-based strategy with mechs mixed with an RPG twist. I love it. <laughs> me being a me being a big mech fan um, and a big RPG fan. Um, Story is awesome. Uh, the graphics are very well done. Its replay value, very good. If you end up beating it once, you can always go and try it again, and um, try different weapon combinations. You can always change your person to a different role. You know, like your the, your main character, uh, Elsa, is mostly a uh, a ranged fighter. You know, shotgun and assault rifle. You can always go and change her role later to maybe maybe a sniper if you wanted to. You could do that. The game allows you to do that. It costs you a little much, but the game allows you to do that. There's also some bonus missions here for you to get extra cash and all that. But long story short, it's an awesome game. A very rare find. Not a hard not an easy game to come by. Not an easy game to come by. But if you manage to find it and you're an RPG fan, go for it. <laughs> you won't regret it. Number two. MS Saga, A New Dawn. Now, this game, this game is good, very good. Not a lot of people know about this game, but like, um, like Time Splitters Future Perfect, it's a diamond in the rough. Um, a lot of Gundam fans would probably know about this game and know how rare and how good it is. It's your average RPG, average story. The um, fighting system's pretty much like any RPG, you know. You go into the wilderness, you fight people, you get money, you buy new shit, you upgrade. But with a big-ass Gundam twist to it. It's a very good game. Like I said about Front Mission 4, not an easy game to come by. But it's a, it's a kick-ass game. The graphic cutscenes are awesome. The graphics in the game kick ass for something on the, in the PS2. Um, yeah, like I said... This is the story is average. The fighting system is like any other RPG. You know, you go out, you fight, you upgrade. Um, there's all different ways to customize your robots and all that. It's a very fun game, so I recommend it completely. And my number one, Ace Combat 5 for the PS2. This game was probably one of my favorite games. Me being a big military fanatic, I love fighter jets. Um... I love flight simulators. This game was probably one of the best flight sims out there. Um, better than anything I've ever seen. Better than anything a lot of better than a lot of stuff that's come out lately. Um, except maybe Ace Combat Six. I haven't tried Ace Combat Six. I bought Ace Combat Zero a while back, and Ace Combat Five kicks Zero's ass, even though Zero's the one that's after it. So yeah, Ace Combat Five is my number one because. It was probably one of the most influential games I've ever played. The story is utterly amazing. The graphics kick ass. Um, it's got some great voiceovers. The soundtrack is kicks ass. Just if you have if you have the game, you'll you'll know what I mean. The soundtrack is utterly amazing. Its replay value is utterly awesome. Because trust me, when you beat the game once, you won't have all the jets. You know, you won't have all the weapons and all the jets. You have to go back and play the game again. And what's neat is, you actually have, um, you play it once. All the shit you got the first time, you got the second time. So that kicks a lot of ass. So yeah, my number one is Combat 5.